can you short here and hold it all the way down? So this is US 30. And although I traded it on the hourly chart, there is a method, there's a way that you can actually trade it on the five minute chart. And suppose you took, you saw this trend candle here, and then you went for the, waited for the pullback. Or if you thought market was in a trading range around here, if you went short here, how would you be able to allow it that trade, actually swing traded the whole day and let it run. So one easy way of doing that would be to just go on the hourly chart. And if you traded it, you can just let it run. Now, let's explore this idea first. So today I was able to sell the market here, US 30. I originally had an, a stop loss over here, which was wrong. So that got stopped out. But I had done my analysis and I had seen that the market uh, had done this right uh, let's just use this so after doing this move down went up came down so that's your first move then it came around and did not break those levels creating a bull candle on the daily chart next day it was a bear candle and finished at those levels could not break them the next day on friday it went back up a bull candle on the daily chart it's a funny chart actually on the daily you have bull bear bull bear candles and then so i thought mm -hmm. so if it did this this and this could it do another one down there again which is obvious now it didn't do but at least i had to try so originally i got my stop loss wrong i went short here published stop loss there got stopped out but then after this candle when it tested that i thought aha it actually is working it has tested that level so i went short here and then towards the end of the day I was watching it and it did this spike. Let's go to the five minute chart. And around this spike, I actually then brought my stop loss here and took this profit. But there's another way. If you're day, day trading on the five minute chart, you can actually um, use an effective method of trailing stop loss using the uh, concept of, um, um, what's it called? I'm forgetting the word now, uh, major, uh, major swing or major move or major swing high in this case, or a minor swing high. So let's explore the idea and see how you could have done this. So firstly, uh, what's a minor swing? So a minor swing is something like this. So it's not like a significant move. Um, uh, what am I saying? A minor swing would be something that, you know, when price continues to go down and it doesn't really go. So for example, when it went down here, it wasn't really a strong uh, swing down. It wasn't a strong leg. But on this occasion, when it moved down, so around this third candle, you knew that this swing high was your major swing high. This was your uh, major move down. It's a nice bearish trend. So that's your level. So let's go back in time and go by bar by bar and see how we could have done all of this. So I'm going to the uh, US Open and that's where it opened. So if you had all those levels and stuff, you know what's going on. So we wait for the first candle. As we can see, the first candle is really crazy. It has a very strong wick. Um, I did some stupid trades here, but that's not the point. Um, then it goes up and comes down. Again, um, this is a confusion candle. It's not a strong bullish candle. It's not a bear. In, in fact, it is actually a bearish candle because you have a, a lot of tail up there. And this one is a bullish candle in a way because you can't really call it bullish because at, at one point it was also bearish and then it did all of that. So it's like a confusion candle. And then you have this. So as you can see, it actually hits that level. Uh, let's go to the hourly chart. See those levels? It hits it around US session. And that's what triggered my shorts. So as we watch this, it reacts to it, uh, holds on to that level, and then immediately goes down. And I went short here. So when you go short here, 
your obvious spot was to actually have your stop loss there, up there, because that's your major, uh, major high at the moment. And now you're looking for price to go down. So a sideways candle breaks down, but gets rejected. These levels were actually playing quite a lot on it. So it kept going up and down. Um, a lot of people would have been kicked out around that spot. But if you played it correctly, and even if you went short here, or if you waited for this, or if you, if you did go short here, your stop loss will have to be there. So appropriate um, lot sizes are required. So now you have this um, a breakout candle, followed by one, two, three, four candles of pullback. So this was your obvious short. So let's suppose you didn't go short here. You did go short here. Don't put your stop loss there because that is not your major swing high at the moment. We need to have some more uh, bearish trend candles down there. This is not really a good strong trend candle because there's a there's wick. As you can see, all of these big candles have big wicks. So it's a confusing time. So have your stop loss tucked away if you want to. And that is with the point of not scalping. You're swing trading on the five minute chart. You want to capture the whole swing. So we are seeing this and then Almost, it was almost a nice strong breakout and a trend candle where you could have brought your stop loss there, but still not sure. After this, after this candle, as you can see now it's breaking out, you now know that this is your valid uh, major swing high. So you want to start, bring your stop loss there. Now your risk is very, very low, but it's not over because the day has just begun and you're letting it run. Then you see that the market is going up. You know that your stop loss is up there and you're not looking for small profits. You want to capture the swing. So you're sitting tightly. You know that these levels would probably play its part uh, and bears would take over again. So based on that, this is your add-on spot. If you add it on there, and then you saw this strong move. So around by this point, I'm looking at these levels. If it clears this, this is my major swing high, but not yet. Around this time, yes, I'm definitely confirmed. So I'll put my stop loss up there, three, four, one, two, zero, around that level. Guess what happened after that? We are still under the effect of these levels. So we're not really in a strong uh, bear trend where there's nothing to the left. So here we go. Now you have a three candle pullback. That's another entry that you could have taken. But if you take this entry and you want to stay in it for the whole swing, you can't have your stop loss there because you'll be kicked out. Zigzag pullbacks can happen. So you have to have your stop loss there. On this occasion though, we have a very strong move and it goes further down, but it was only one candle. So it would be risky if you were to bring your stop loss here. So leave it there. Around this time, now you're thinking, you're, you're looking at these levels. You're looking at these levels and you're thinking, okay, so is this some kind of a move up and a down and now this support is going to hold this level? So you can get scared and bring your stop loss here or here, but don't do that because you want to capture the whole move. So leave your stop loss at the major swing high. See, this was only... Here, if you brought your stop loss here and consider this as your major swing high, then you would have been stopped out there and the whole fun would be ruined. Now it's attempting it again to break those lows. It breaks those lows. And at the end of this candle, now you know that this is your major swing high. Now you can bring your stop loss somewhere there. And now you have locked in profits and you are enjoying your time. So there you go, goes further down. And now you are waiting for the closing session. That happens um, over here. We're going one by one, price going sideways and sideways and sideways. Now this move up is not very strong. It's not very strong yet. Uh, so you don't have to worry. Your stop loss is up there. And now this, there will be that push 
towards the end. And as soon as the push happens, this push, now your stop loss is there. But because it's the, it's the end of the session anyway, you'll be looking to take your profits. All of this entry, this entry, this entry, this entry, and maybe well, an entry here as well. And this is where I took my profit here. So it goes down there, pulls back, you trail your candles, and you get out. So that is one idea of capturing the entire day's um, price action and making several entries. It's very difficult to do, but if you don't try, then most probably you'll never be able to do so. Do give it a try and let me know in the comments what you think about this. Thank you.